stove when we were putting that on this. Oh, what's it made of? It's just, it's, a, it's basically chloride. Oh, chloride, but like it's, it's chlorophyll? It's cellular, it's called Nutra O2. What's it made from? It's just chloride. Get closer to your dad. And then. Oh. It, uh, it's a cellular oxygen enhancer. Oh, it's that clear stuff. You yeah, get, you buy the... You drip it into the distilled water. And the, oh, excellent. That clears up your... It's been skin. Eating up, eating up that skin cancer. So. How long you been using that on his face? Well, <laughs> Is that right? Isn't that amazing? We go back to oh, nature I, I and use this pure stuff. No, no, but I got put on it at home. I forgot to bring any with me. Huh? So that's the skin. I take, I take uh, extra virgin olive oil, and that'll make you a virgin again. So be careful. I should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a comedian than an herbalist, but hey, I, I get the put, job done. I put uh, I put a tablespoon full of chaparral leaves. Yeah, and it's amazing. And a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I let it sit for about 15 days. Yeah. And I strain that out and I mix it with the mix it with an ounce of purified beeswax. Oh, excellent! And it a, oh, an ointment. An ointment. And it wow. Cures cancer. Do you Skin have any of that? It goes away. Can we market that. I'll. I'll uh, promote it to the healthy stores on my website. Can yes. we market that? I don't. So the formula I, is I got the, I got the, the formula from an Apache Indian, yeah, from Fort Apache Indian Reservation uh, medicine man. So it's chaparral, chaparral, olive oil and beeswax. Olive oil and beeswax. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'll so make some up. I'll give you ten percent royalty. How's okay. that? <laughs> we'll pass it on to your. But it's something that probably can't be patented or anything and I didn't care I just it works yeah you know I love that skin yeah. cancer I try to get give some to Joe one time try to get him to use it it's probably we, still on a shelf for we, his house. he wouldn't use it yeah yeah I give him wheatgrass and about a about a six months later I come by and I go did you take that Joe he goes what and his daughter Martha's been taking care of what well, the last see, when few I years. Got that infection, she it, opened it, up the cabinet. He didn't touch it. I go. The infection ate all the cartilage out of my knees, and it told me I had to have both knees replaced because they were crunch, crunch, bone to bone. So then I met an herbalist from uh, from Oklahoma. Oh, cool! And, and he told me, he says, "Don't let them cut on you." He said, "Get you some." Shark cartridge. Shark cartridge, yeah. So let's take mega doses of shark cartridge. Was that back in the 90s? Huh? Is that back in the 90s? Yeah. yeah. I remember shark cartridge was real popular. That's when I started my business in 93. Out called the Jaws of Life. It talks all yeah. about shark cartridge. Yeah. The sharks are the only. Yeah, they're living. They live to be thousands. They don't have bones. All they have is cartilage. And they never get cancer, except once in a while they get skin cancer, but it, it heals just like They that. live to be hundreds of years old, too. Yeah, they do. And, and so, he said, take, take about 5,000 milligrams a day if your body can stand it of shark cartridge for about a month and then just switch over and take an ounce of pr pure old bovine gelatin every day. Mix it yeah. Up Make it, juice and drink. Thick it. Wow. And so, in about 90 days, my knees quit hurting, and in two years, I had full cartilage back in <laughs> Beautiful. And I wow. Went to the doctor, and he x rayed my knees. He couldn't he said, believe it. He said, We must have got your x rays mixed up with somebody else. <laughs> your body will not grow, regrow cartilage. I said, Oh. The hell yeah. You know, you heard of comfrey, and, and comfrey they root. A, they sell this uh, glucosamine and chondroitin for arthritis. Yeah. If you read on the bottle, product source, it says uh, Warning. bovine cartilage. Yeah. So it's nothing but gelatin. Right. And you're telling there. the doc how to be a real doctor, right? And my doctor I go to, I, he tells his friends. Does he listen to you? He's a 77-year-old man and don't take any prescription meds. And he said, well, how the hell do you make a living? <laughs> he, he asked, when I first met him, I went for a doctor to get an annual physical for my insurance. Right. That's all that and he needed. Somebody gave me his name and I went and talked to him. He says, uh, I told him about my knee experience. He says, you know, I'm a doctor. But he says, I was in Swedish Hospital about the same time you were for a hernia operation, and they gave him a staph infection. About killed him. Yeah, these infections in the hospital. And you completely. 
and we've become real good friends. Oh, he's your doctor now? Yeah, he's my doctor. Well, good. He listens to you. He, 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 he doesn't want to make your money off you and leave your no, he, your wealth to, to him, but your children, right? And your grandkids. <laughs> Well, good job there, Don. Yep. Hey, one more time, my father. Talk about my father, because now I got on camera. I want to show him this of you. Now, how do you know my dad, Gene Masterson? Well, I went to church with him. When I was a young man, he was in, in our ward. In, what uh, ward was it? Alma, Alma, Alma ward in Mesa. And uh, I just knew your I knew your dad as an automobile painter. And yeah, because you were too young before he, when he played football. Well, I knew of him. Joe was like four years younger than my dad. Yeah. And, and, He's, and you're Wiz, Wizard White is, yes. was a brother to my uncle. Oh, was he? Yeah, Randy was here today. Which Randy. one, Randy? Randy White. Randy White, that's right. He was a brother? Yeah, he was a he, he was Her cousins. son of, of uh, Her Wizard cousins. White. Wizard was his uncle. His uncle, that's yeah. right. I know Randy White. He was in that Alma Ward too, Randy, yeah, wasn't he? he? Was. I remember yeah, that. He was in Payson. He was a branch president. Yeah, his dad owned the dealership up there, Payson. The Chevy dealership. His brother owned His brother now, he yeah, bought it. I think Chapman, Chapman Chevrolet well, bought it a few years ago. He took it over from Chapman. He bought it from Chapman, and he started a Ford dealership in, in Payson, and he died. Oh, and was Phil White. That's right, Phil White. That was Randy's oldest brother. Oh, so is Randy still alive? It's, a different, it's somebody else now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know it. I know yeah, it's it. like, I think, uh, uh, not Corey, Chapman. Corey, Corey Ford. Ford. Yeah. Corey yeah. Ford now. Corey I go, Corey that's Corey the Corey the other yeah. town outside of Payson going up Star to Valley. BM. Star yeah. Valley, yeah. The Ford yeah, dealership. The Ford dealership. Well, that's amazing. So Phil's gone. Randy's still alive? Yeah, Randy and Bob are still alive. They're still alive? Bob was the younger one, wasn't he? Yeah, Bob was. He's like my older, same age as my older brothers, my two. Remember Ed Masterson? Oh, yeah, I knew Ed. Yeah, he'd be almost 70 in November, I think. Ed, yeah. He's there in Overgard, Heber Overgard, is where he lives now. Yeah, up there. Yeah, Which my dad home. lives in Snowflake now. We for a lot of years in little town of Concha, where they brought up there. What yeah. got you in in uh, Colorado? What well, made you I move? I am now, but I've only been up there. So, well, we moved to, to Colorado in 77. Because you're a truck driver then? I was that, then. That's why you moved? Because you're retired. And, and we moved around quite a bit, wound up in northern Idaho and back down here. And back, then wound up back in Colorado steady about. 12 years ago. Anyway. You like Colorado the best? It's cleaner air, well, isn't it? Well, it's closer. It's where most of the kids live. It's clean air. Ron lives down here, and his family's down here. And we have one daughter and her husband live in Utah, and the rest of them all live up there. Well, yeah, That's good to have variety. Oh, and then Yancey just retired and moved back to here. He lives in Queen Creek. Oh, does he? That's your son? My oldest son. Oh, that's right, Nancy. Okay, I yes. remember. Is he here today? Yeah, he was here. Okay. Wick, I like Wickenburg. They just got a guy. They got some good uh, farming area and ranches. Yeah, and we're just um, south of there. In fact, what's the population there? Is it more than ten, twenty thousand? Oh yeah, I'm sure. They say they got. Is it Wickenburg, Wickenburg Kingman? Wickenburg, they got well, more millionaires down, there than any in the whole country per capita. Wow. Is what I, I read. Gl I know Glendale used to be that. Yeah, Glendale. Glendale had more millionaires per capita. They, oh, yeah. they probably well, moved to Kingman and Wickenburg. Wickenburg. <laughs> Seriously, they probably years, did. Wickenburg brought the, known as the dude ranch capital of the world. There is that? Oh, that's what it was. Movie stars. That's how they made their money yeah. there. That makes sense. Yeah, it was, it well, was good. Quite a town. Someone's town. I lived in Wickenburg for a little while when I first got out of high well, school. How's property there? Is it pretty reasonable? No. no. It's gone up? Oh, the property's shooting through the roof. Of More there. than Phoenix area? Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Good. Because people are moving up there and they're in scarce property there or something. Yeah. They've got a, a, the nice new housing development just north of Wickenburg that they're building. The oh, that's what raises the prices. Yeah. Where are they coming from? Are they retired people? Everywhere. Mostly retired and yeah, back east. Probably from California because it's a lot cheaper yeah. there. And California is ridiculous. It's yeah. crowded and it's like million dollars for a little 
two or three bedroom house. Where we live, uh, you can't buy a house probably for under 400000 Yeah, Colorado's up there more than Mesa, isn't it? And uh, our little town, which when we moved there 10 years ago, was a little town. It's now a monster city. And uh, That's good you kept your... people are moving in there faster than anywhere else. God, it's like... I have friends that build houses. Oh, dear. Yeah. Houses that five years ago sold for two hundred fifty thousand now sell for a million. That a mate? God, five years later, huh? It's just going crazy because of the legalized marijuana people are coming. Oh, in. that's right. Yeah, there's a documentary on that. They yeah. say they got to go to the states like California or Colorado where it started. They got to go there, but that makes sense. Yeah, we. Uh, Can we get in the business? Can we grow it? Huh? Can we get in the business of legalized marijuana, <laughs> make a few million? <laughs> uh, you might go up. Hey, let's do the chaperone cayenne. It's cheaper and it's safer. Yes. It's just all this. Chaperone is in my backyard. Chaper right. Is it? Right. Let's go to chaperone. Let's do a chaparral and we'll do a cayenne and wheatgrass and we won't be millionaires, but at least we'll get people healthy and we'll make a few hundred thousand dollars. What do you think? <laughs> Chaparral's it. Yeah. That's better than Mara Jane. Chaparral is yeah, you're right. Doctor, here. remember Dr. Christopher? Oh, yeah. I learned from his son, David he Christopher. Really That's how I became a master herbalist. I went to school in 93, graduated in 96. Yeah, yeah. He talked about chaparral yeah, Dr. in Arizona. Guy. Yeah, he talked about cayenne and chaparral. Those are the two. If you had that in distilled water, you can live as long as chaparral trees. Yeah. <laughs> remember, Nothing will grow under a chaparral bush. Except another chaparral bush. Is that right? Yeah. Why is that? It's protected. Oh, I, I beg to differ. It's protected. Well, I know your it's weeds grow anywhere. I like that, but chaparral. Out there away from your house, out in the chaparral. Chaparral is pretty yeah. powerful. Maybe that's yeah. why they can't grow around then. It's like a protective yeah. vortex. Remember, remember comfrey that Dr. Christopher oh, talked yeah, about. I comfrey. Grow comfrey at home. Kind of That'll grow your knees. Get rid of bruising and pain. You had to go to Hogwarts to learn how to do oh, this, this guy knows it all, man. This guy knows oh, my wife's actions better. Teaches me. I, He's got a good memory. It's I'm amazing. Like right, Joe yeah, had a good memory too. I talked good. to him. That's not a good thing. It tends to, it, it, it's distorted over the years. <laughs> Distorted. Oh, that's right. beautiful. All he's a class. He's the last of the Mohican old bars, man. All these stories may not be true, but I really remember them well. <laughs> <laughs> and the better, the older I get, the better I get. Yeah. This guy's amazing. Oh, that's funny. Man. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs>